Hello and assalamu alaikum everybody. I hope you guys are good. My name is Nadia and uh, today we're talking about just random stuff. Uh, you see, weather is so wonderful. I love talking about weather and um, it's like kind of springy spring, but it's getting summery summer also because sometimes it feels too hot. And it's just February and nobody uh, wants to have that much of heat in this month especially in our country because we want March to go cool we want April also to go cool and then in May we're expecting some heat waves but let's see we gotta be thankful for everything that we have and right now weather is so amazing so what I do I take my kids to the park and uh, I love watching kids playing I, I can do that for hours and hours. I can watch my kids, other kids playing for hours and hours. It kind of gives me a, a chance to relive my own childhood. So, yeah, it's amazing. So, what else? Yeah, I wanted to share with you guys that I am seeing that there are some people who are watching my videos. I thank you so much, first of all, for watching and appreciating and uh, I'm really thankful from the bottom of my heart and um, I just want um, that I could because I'm doing a little bit different thing from from the rest of the people so I want to share this experience so that anybody who's maybe doubtful like I was once and um, anything that I could could share that could help them that would be a great great thing for me so yeah so uh, i got to know that there are people who are not yet married and they don't have kids right now they they are watching they are listening to me and i really um feel that it's it's i, I feel so good that there are people who who want to know that how to parent that's a very very important question i mean we we're not given any education on that just, beta, you get married, and then you're married, and like after one week, you're like, beta, khushkabri. And you, you never know okay, what people, what we should do with that khushkabri, what that entails with it, what comes with that khushkabri. It's, it's a whole package. It's a whole human being that you are bringing into this world. And what comes with that? Financial worries mental pressure there's a lot you i remember that once i um when manahil was very little and um i asked my husband i was like when she's gonna grow up i i'd be more relaxed and more free and she and he was like nadia you are never gonna be relaxed now because even if she's gonna get married you will be worried she will be there in your heart and your mind all the time. So it's a, it's a lifelong commitment. It's, we're never told that how special this thing is to be a parent and um, to own it, to take the responsibility of it. What we do is that we stumble across few things we go we try to trial and error something we we go through our parenting the most important phase of our life through trial and error so there is not much in 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 our society there are no courses there are not there is no widespread advice on how we can parent our children and um, I'm no expert in that what I do is that I only share my own observations and my own experience and I told you guys that I am homeschooling my children uh, mainly I'm unschooling them I just don't like that cool thing in it so um, it's been six seven years now when I has been homeschooled and uh, she's all right she's fine she can think she can argue with me she can cook she can she can do a lot of fascinating things that I that I never thought that my kid could do and um, same with Mahdi 
Um, I'm, I told you guys I'm going to share this experience with you. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys how my kids are progressing so that you guys would know. Um, Tanima asked me uh, that uh, you share your routine with your kids. So, uh, here, the problem is that she doesn't let me make a video. She's like, whenever I try to make a video, she's like, Mommy, stop making a video. So she also has a personal space, and I do not want to do anything what she doesn't like me to do. But uh, very soon, I'm going to start um, kind of podcast with my with Manahil so that we could talk about different stuff and talk about topics that you guys might want to listen to because she is an interesting girl and um, she has very, very crazy ideas. She's, she's an animal lover. Sometimes it goes to an extreme all the time she talks about animals, 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 and how they could be rescued and how they could be um, vaccinated and how, and like everything about animals. Not all the animals, really. It's about cats and dogs. So, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. Kids are a kind of extension of you. And, uh, I can very much understand that when people try to to find themselves in their kids, they want to see them being successful. The things that they couldn't do, the things that they are lacking, they so want that their kids could do that. And that there is nothing wrong about it. But the thing is that the time you were in is no more. That's history. The circumstances, your parents were different. Their parents are different. Your your financial, your parents' financial circumstances, you grew up, were different. But now the financial circumstances that you are giving to your kids, the home is different. These things are different. So it really changes their life, their, their perspective. So we cannot, like if I wanted to be a doctor and I couldn't do that because I got married earlier, I just cannot impose the same thing on my child and I want that she would become a doctor. That can't, that can't happen. So on top of that, we also want to prove to our relatives, there is a big, big problem that through the report cards of our kids, we want to show our relatives that, yo man, our kids are more intelligent. They're going to be more successful than your kids. <laughs> That's a superficial thing. That's totally, totally stupid thing. And uh, I hope people would realize it real soon before it's too late and um, you know to me the best part of being a parent is is to have a connection is to have true friends is to have two friends yeah it's that we try to find we look for friends outside look for company outside but our kids are our best best company and um, yeah if you, if you try to understand them, they're the best people. They are the greatest people in your life. And um, it's just that. And also one more thing I've seen that a lot of parents, especially I've seen in mothers, that they do not mature with time. They have kids, but inside they feel that they are still kids. They feel the, their inner child that is still looking for, for appreciation, for connection and um, approval. That, you know, because when you turn into a mother, 
that's also one thing that I realized very late in my life. When you turn into a mother, you are going to be source of comfort and you are that fountain of comfort. Not you become a thirsty person. There are going to be thirsty people, a little, little, little thirsty people who come to nourish themselves from you. They, you are going to give them approval to fulfill their, you know, to fulfill their, um, let me say, inner. You have to fill them with inner satisfaction. You are the one. If you are not fulfilled, if you're empty from inside. And if you feel that you're still a child and you need, um, you have some unfulfilled things, you have some incomplete tasks. If you have something, just complete it first and then become a parent. Because when you are a mother, when you are a parent, you get to show them that, yo, I am the one you got to come back to. Not, I am the one who is begging other people for the inner emptiness and you guys would be, if you are empty, your kids are gonna be empty, emptier than you are. So fill yourself with love, with, um, with confidence, with like, whatever you've achieved in life, you should be satisfied, satisfaction, fill yourself with contentment and deliver that thing to your kids. And uh, if you think there is something missing inside you, and you're already a mother, then try to fill it. Try to, to mature yourself, you know, because your kids are depending on you on, for everything, for everything. Like, like a nucleus in an atom, you have to be very, very strong. If you are strong, you can hold your electrons to the center. Because if you won't do that, they would just disperse. They would, they would disperse and start binding towards with the other atoms. And that's a scary thing because not every person, not every other connection outside, external connection is worth connecting to. So you are, a mother has to be, to be a mature person before she, she has, a woman has to be a mature person before she has kids. So to some extent, kids do make you mature and um, if you still feel that there's something unfulfilled, make sure you fill it. Thank you guys. Thank you for listening to me. And you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.